So you're probably wondering exactly what we're doing here and what we're building. Well, we're building a tall ship. Uh, it's a historically designed and from the late 19th century. And why we're building it is because this vessel is going to go out onto the bay and out into the ocean with young people and adults, and they're gonna have an experience of their life. They're gonna be able to step back in time and see what it was like to sail on a vessel during the late 19th century, or even go back. The, the ocean doesn't change, sailing doesn't change. So it's like a time warp. And this time warp is being built for the next 100 years or more. That youth, adults can go out and step into a world the same as it was 100, 200, 300 years ago. And when not only the experience, but the, what they're gonna learn about, their, about the ocean, about the bay, about the ecology, about caring, about being stewards of our earth and our ocean. And that's what this is for. Back in 2001, I decided to go back to this project. It's, it's certainly a great project. And I would just go ahead. Maybe we wouldn't get it done, but I would continue on regardless because uh, it was the best thing I could think to do with my time. So that took a few years to get it all back together again, to get Call of the Sea up and running, to get a ship for Call of the Sea, get programs going. And finally we got to a point where I saw that there was an opportunity to build this tall ship. Uh, that was uh, uh, when we were to pull the trigger, so to speak, to, to do that, to go out and get the money, not just think about it, not just plan for it, not just do the, the work of, of uh, design, which was very important, but to actually say, okay, we're gonna do it. And in 2011, that decision was made and we formed Educational Tall Ship and said, we're gonna do it. And so far, we have got the momentum and the energy and the funds and the people, and it's happening. Matthew Turner will carry out some of the same similar missions that uh, Seaward carries out now with Call of the Sea, uh, the schooner Seaward. Uh, we'll be operating here in the bay on uh, day trips uh, for kids, you know, maybe up to 60 kids can come out on this boat and learn, three to four hour uh, trip. Uh, we will also be doing charters, uh, special charters, that's a way we can br bring in some money to support some of our educational uh, programs because you really can't quite charge enough to cover what it takes to run a ship like this. So it's important that we uh, bring in some uh, a revenue stream. However, not only here in the bay, but we can go out along the coast, and she's very, very well built and designed to go on long expeditions. And that's an exciting feature about Matthew Turner. She can go out into the ocean for thousands of miles, and with a full complement of youth and teachers and crew, which would be as many as 38. My mentor, Frankie Bedor, was very important to me early on. He thought he taught me to think outside normal channel, channel, channels. One thing he told me, he says, Alan, don't think about getting a job. Think about making a job for what you want to do. And that really hit me. Oh, yeah, I don't have to go fit into somebody else's idea. I can do something that I want to do. And that's been with me all my life, and I've definitely try to live that way. It's just more fun. But this is a unique project and when people found out or shipwrights and carpenters found out that this was going on, uh, they came to see if they could help and wanted to help. Uh, we were able to hire many of them but we have a budget. But the rest of them just wanted to help anyhow. So we have three quarters of our staff or our, our workers building the ship are volunteers. My name is Alan Olson. I'm headed up the project for the Matthew Turner, the tall ship, educational tall ship. I've been on this for many years, uh, but now we're starting to make some great progress. And we're hoping to have this boat, we're planning to have this boat launched in 2016.